Hello, <laughs> welcome to Avid Perception Podcast. We got our host today, Mr. Brian. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Doing good. Good to see you and a very good pleasure to one of the people that uh, we sparked the different conversations going through this, uh, like different meetings in Bitcoin, the group mm, right. of us. And uh, we kind of related on a lot of like concepts of like, you know, love and self-belief. And yeah, I mean, I just I've, I've only met you a couple of times and yeah. I thought you were like very positive, very outgoing, yeah. the opposite of me, like. It, it was actually very difficult for me to go to the meeting, the, the first meeting, because uh -huh. I'm more introverted. Like I could, I'm pretty good one on one, but in a group, it's difficult. And yeah. it's like, okay, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna talk to these people yeah. and see what I can learn. And and it actually was enjoyable. Like mm -hmm. I was surprised. Like you know, I talked to you. I think I talked to Aladdin, talked mm -hmm. to a couple of the other guys there, and I was I was pretty surprised that I, that I liked it. Like mm -hmm. most of the time, I dread it you know because it's difficult like to make chit chat and like, yeah it's, i guess because it's something that i'm interested in it's it's i wanted to learn more and, and see what other people are thinking about it yeah. because normally you're just talking online chatting online and y you, you meet people but it's not the same it's not the same connection like yeah i mean it's pretty interesting to find people who actually have that vibration and energy mm -hmm. of like supporting and loving mm -hmm. and enveloping that auras of like you're welcome you mm -hmm. know world yeah. Yeah, it's too cold yeah i mean it's impersonal online i mean if but but it, but it has its place like mm -hmm. i i find myself meeting people from all over yeah. you know i talk to a lot of artists and things and they're like in france italy mm -hmm. europe uh, just different you know it's it, you don't know until after a couple of interactions mm -hmm. that I'm like, hey, where are you actually? What part of the world are you in? Mm -hmm. and, and it might be the middle of the night for them and, and morning for me. And so so that's always that's interesting to, to learn what their what their process is. And even, for example, I, I wrote a book, you know, about um, NFTs. Mm -hmm. and, and so one day um, on Twitter, a guy just posted an image. He took my book cover and made it into a, like a larger 3D, 3D image. Okay. Like a, uh, so like Pepe the frog, you know, the green frog. Yeah. So he made a frog sitting in a chair with a, with a nightgown and slippers reading my book. And I go, wow, that's so amazing. Like, mm -hmm. thank you for doing this. Like, I didn't know him. He just, he just tagged me. And I said, I, I have to have this image. Like, can I buy it from you? And can I, can I use it for advertising mm -hmm. or kind of promotion? He goes, well, yeah, of course you can, whatever you want, you know, cause, nice. and, and it turns out that he's like an engineer in Moldova or, uh -huh. you know, somewhere near Russia, Ukraine, Russia, Eastern Europe. In, in yeah. Eastern Europe. And he goes, I, I'm a, uh, an engineer, but wow. I'm very poor. And I go, oh, that makes me so sad that you're a highly educated person and you're not, yeah. uh, you're not able to earn what you deserve, what well. you're worth. And, he goes, oh, I don't like to talk about it. Like, I don't want to talk about conflict. I only want to talk about happy things and love. and frogs and love. Like, I make all these little things that make me laugh and make people happy. So I, so I ended up um, teaching him how to use that platform, the the Bitcoin. Uh, the Bitcoin platform? Counterparty is what it's. It's yes. like a second layer to Bitcoin. Okay. So I, I took his art. I, I oh. tokenized it. Right, made it into an asset. Oh, an NFT. An NFT. Nice. On Bitcoin, I gave I gave it I gave him one, and I sent him some money. I just sent him some Bitcoin. I said, here, I just want to give you like forty bucks, fifty bucks. Oh, that's amazing. And then I asked him if, if I could give it to <laughs> the people that buy my book, and he goes, yeah, of course. So, so now if someone buys the book, I send them that NFT, um, and it's and it's just because he wanted to make it he's he's learning that software the 3d software yeah. modeling software so he goes this is a good topic like i like pepe i like the like, like uh different memes you know meme tech culture so he uses those images to make to teach himself how to make these um use that 3d program that's beautiful of you but yeah. also without introduction what book did you write i didn't even oh. know about that oh so it's, it's called it's right here god bless <laughs> i mean i'm gonna take a professional picture oh, yeah. we're gonna put it up here so the, so let's actually use the camera yeah let's yeah. put it into let's see yeah. let's get which one something let's that i was now. interested in um like i was saying it it runs on bitcoin 
-hmm. So it's a historical project uh, called Rare Pepe. It started in 2016. And so uh, it's just a group of artists that that started playing around on the Bitcoin blockchain. And they started making these images, posting them and saying, hey, do you want to buy one or do you want to have one? And so they would trade them amongst themselves. Uh-huh. And, but I didn't find out about it until later, much later, like just uh, maybe a year ago. And I just thought, well, there's, there's 17, it's a project, there's 1,774 images. And then it's closed. Okay. So they started collecting images. You would submit them to like a, a, a board, like, a, mm-hmm. like a, they were called the scientists, rare Pepe scientists. Okay. So they would take these images. They would say, yes, I like this one. This one's going to go into the, into the project. And it's, it's all about that character of like Kermit the Frog. Mm-hmm. Or, okay, or like, but it, it would Kermit? be uh, like political cartoons, like movies, characters, food, okay. uh, alcohol, just different, different settings. Like, and so they, they built them into these series, series one to series 26, I believe. Mm-hmm. And then they just stopped. They closed the project. They said, you know, no more, um, no more images. And so it's just a, a historical set, 2016, 2018. That was mm-hmm. when it happened. And so now people are kind of learning about it. They're, okay. Because everybody has Ethereum NFTs, mm-hmm. but th- they don't realize that there's NFTs on Bitcoin. Yeah, uh, and so now they're they're starting to find like there's games on Bitcoin. There's all these old images it's growing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. And so it was just something like I saw them and I thought, I, well, I I think they should be organized in a certain way. Like I would like to see them in groups, in little mm-hmm. categories. And so that's how I I developed it. So it's twenty so, six categories. Um, no. So like if you have th- the way they were organized, the series one, series two, series three, mm-hmm. but. Mine are like uh, if it displays alcohol, if it displays uh, political, mm-hmm. if it has movies, TV, oh. uh, musical characters, cartoon characters. So take all of them from every series, but put them if they're related to cartoons, they're in the cartoon section. Oh, cartoon if they're oh, okay. political, they're in the section, political section. Yeah. Mm. yeah, so it's just a different way to look at them. So, and the, and it's thousands, not thousands, but hundreds of different artists. So it's not any one person that made them. They're they're from all over the world. So it's like a worldwide project. You've, and then some people are gone, like they've lost their wallets. And um, so they're, they're becoming more scarce. Mm. So, for example, if someone made 100 and he lost his keys to his Bitcoin wallet, well, maybe half of them are gone now. Mm-hmm. So there might only be 50 or 20 available. Okay. And these, sorry, these are like, yeah, go ahead. I was about to say, so these are like not AI art, human art, right? Uh, no, they're like, yeah, they're like basically like cartoons. Like, um, for example, like these are fine art. So someone took something like, for example, like, mm-hmm. um, you know, the artist Keith Haring. Mm-hmm. So this is Pepe Haring. Mm-hmm. It tells you how many there were, what series it is in, how many out of the total and what year it was minted. And people can purchase that on, on which website or like? Uh uh, it's called Counterparty. So you have a, a Counterparty wallet and it, it, you transact in Bitcoin. So, so this is basically a token like Ethereum, like Bitcoin, but it's a token called Pepe Herring. Mm. So in your wallet, you see you have one Pepe Herring, but there's an image attached to that token. So instead of having two Bitcoin, I have two Pepe Herring, for example. Mm, okay. and, and, if, and if you look at a counterparty wallet or a counterparty website, you see what you have. You, you can look in your wallet and you see, oh, I have this one and this one. And, and like if you meet an artist, um, like this guy will say, oh, I have lots of these. Do you want to trade me one of these for one of these or something? Oh, okay. And, and so it just became fun, like... Like a lot of Star Wars, you know, different TV characters. Like here's food, you know, like K- Corn Lots, Flakes, yeah. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Different, but, and like there's a lot of Japanese references, like mm-hmm. Japanese artists. Anime and stuff. Spicy, jalapeno pepe, you know, and it's just like, just as funny things. Like, But it's not AI though. That's no, important. no, it's just, it's, yeah. it's just um, drawing. A lot of them are hand drawn or they're manipulated. Like there's photos. Photoshop and stuff. Photoshop, yes. Mm-hmm. They got turned but in. But human see, made, yeah. See, like these are um, Hooten Pepe. So it's like an image just turned green, basically, mm-hmm. uh, like Latin Roman emperors, you know. Yeah. yeah. So it's just something silly that people are interested in. And, but the thing is, it's like still alive after all these years. There's still a big community around it and they're, they're trading daily. Like, wow. Yeah. And so it's a whole kind of subculture. 
and now there there's um, technology to bring these onto the Ethereum blockchain. You can as well. It's um, it's called an emblem vault. So f it's an NFT, but locked inside the NFT are wallets mm. and the private keys. So you you'll have, for example, a Bitcoin wallet, an Ethereum wallet, mm -hmm. a Chainlink wallet, a Polygon. All the wallets. Every connected. kind of wallet. So you can send things into this vault. Mm -hmm. And only the owner can open the vault and take them out. Oh, nice. So you buy it and you can keep it closed and see, you, you, you can prove what's in there, but you can also, call, it's called crack the wallet, crack the vault and withdraw them and move them to your own wallet. So and then you can get them out as like Bitcoin or NFT, but you only like can make money if you traded them with somebody else. That's right. right. Yeah. You, yeah, you, um, so yeah, same concept of NFT. It's brilliant. It, it is an NFT, and and uh, the guy that made it, um, he passed away. His name's John Valar. He was Sorry. he was a, a Venezuelan. He's very, uh, um, he's a super good coder, programmer, mm -hmm. a little artist, and he made the thing called the the Dex, the decentralized exchange. You would make these. Um, it's like an escrow service. So basically, I could if I have this in my wallet, I can create a. Uh, it's, it's a dispenser. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So I can create a dispenser. I can send this asset to that dispenser and okay. for a price. I'll say I want 0.5 Bitcoin. So mm. this, this leaves my wallet. It goes to an escrow wallet. Mm -hmm. People can see it, that it's for sale, and it's in there, and it has a Bitcoin address. Mm -hmm. it, if you send 0.5 Bitcoin to this address, th this card is going to be sent to you wow with nobody no intermediary right no you don't have to trust anybody like i'll you send me the money first i'll send you the card after it, it happens at the same time it's simultaneously because yeah. i put it in the dispenser that and that, i that, have that, to get the money but both have to agree first prior to that correct well uh, no you just it just sits there and it has an expiration so it'll say mm. maybe like 100 bitcoin blocks it's going to go away so you you view it and you see oh I want this one and I can afford it I have this much Bitcoin. Okay. It says send this much to this address and you get that that item. Mm -hmm. And if it's closed, if someone already bought it, it'll it turns red. So mm -hmm. it says do not send Bitcoin to this address because you you won't get the the card. Like it basically just takes the money. Amazing. Yeah, it's it's a really interesting technology and so it's just free free market pretty much yeah exactly people put a value on them and they mm -hmm. they buy and sell them and trade them just because they they're like you know for yeah it's beautiful i i it, love this and uh it's been a really n interesting journey just learning like i would find who made these like certain cards and so then they approached me to develop their um wikipedia they made a oh nice a, and so i'll put a card and I'll say who made it, and I'll say I'll, uh, sometimes I'll find the actual image that that it came from. Mm -hmm. I'll say here's the the historical photograph, and here's th what it got turned into, and here's what he's referring to. Like I put links to further reading. So for each for each card, like wow. like like this one right here, it's it's a you know a political uh, flag, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I forget the name of it, but so I would I would find it um, and say. Oh, for this, this is uh, references Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, 2016. So I might, I might put a link to the election, mm -hmm. to their Wikipedia pages. So you can just learn about the artist that made it and the, and and, the subject and the subject oh, of that card. That's beautiful. Yeah. And that so it's really beautiful. So it's educational. So it's, it's just been interesting learning all these, uh, these guys that, that, that made them like, especially the guys that are from different countries. Like, yes. Like yes. there's a guy, uh, there's a French guy that lives in Italy that made a, a Pepe card about um, the Fonz from Happy Days. You remember the 1970s yeah. TV show Happy Days? Mm -hmm. I said, why do you know about Happy Days? He goes, well, that's how I learned English. Like I would watch this late at night, uh, these American programs. Wow. And I, and I learned English, learn, you know, watching these things. And so he made a Star Trek one and he made a Happy Days Pepe's and then it's like a ridiculous thing but it also it helped him learn and it taught him how to make art and it makes him money because he can now sell them you know so beautiful and and there's guys that are making a, a lot of money guys that that need that that money you know there's guys in small countries foreign countries that 
that are actually supporting themselves. So, so it was just something Free that trading, it's beautiful. I, I had the idea and I, and I just started putting time into it. You know, mm-hmm. I had to learn the software to basically lay them out and, and, and I had to do the research to, to get the, the actual data. I had to find a book publisher, you know, I had to go through several publishers and, uh, so it's been kind of like a, a journey. Is, but it, is it on Amazon? Uh, no, it's only f- available for Bitcoin. So okay. there's a website it's called Scarcity. Mm-hmm. They sell goods for Bitcoin only. We're going to link the website. Yeah. Yep. And so you go there and like we did an auction for the first five copies, mm-hmm. autographed copies. Oh, I beautiful. would never, because I'm only going to make a, a hundred copies. That's it? Uh-huh. Of this one. So How many you got left? I think I've sold 36. Ooh. So, <laughs> yeah. so I'm getting close. You know, I'm getting closer. But And I have a second book that's it's going to be an open edition. It doesn't. They're not in sets. They're just uh, in order, 1 to 1774. Okay. It's a smaller book. It's a little bit cheaper. That mm-hmm. one I think I could eventually do on Amazon. Okay. It's going to be an open edition. Like this one's limited edition. The mm-hmm. other one will be uh, open edition. Beautiful. So just something something different that I learned about because um, I spend a lot of time just researching, you know, NFTs came about a couple of years ago or they mm-hmm. got really popular a couple of years ago, but there's there's a lot of these older ones that are out there. The so. real ones, yeah. I mean, the, yeah. the whole idea of like different cryptocurrencies mm-hmm. are just pretty much distracting people right. from the original, which is Bitcoin, the decentralized right. one. Yeah, yeah. Know. They're trying to basically over cash in mm-hmm. yeah they'll sell you whatever they're made and then they'll just turn it into bitcoin yeah. and keep it in that format because yeah you you never know how they're going to come or go you know they they crash a lot of them crash down to zero or yeah. close to, to close because to zero they're just like a normal company in the stock market right yes they have yeah. a ceo they have mm-hmm. somebody who control the majority of it yeah, they yeah. have a board they can like go either or yeah they can you don't have a change. choice yeah. yeah right they can change the distribution mm-hmm. or yeah they can be yeah, like stock splits kind exactly of like, yeah they just change the change the rules kind of so that's why people really tend to like Bitcoin the best, right? Because it's nobody's running it. And people who know about it, yeah, tend to like Bitcoin. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the thing. It's like here, it's it's not so useful. Like we were talking about, like they don't. It's not a necessity for an American because an American could go get a bank account, no problem, have a debit card, a credit card, checking account. Yeah. But people around in other parts of the world, they don't have that. Yeah. You know, maybe the, this is their only choice. Correct. Like, their money is going down to zero and they have to have an alternative mm-hmm. or they need to leave their country and they can't carry cash across their border. You mm-hmm. know, it's something they need to just put it on a hardware wallet or on a piece of paper. Yeah. That's, yeah. It's a, it's an amazing technology that it they're, is. people are able to retain their funds without anybody taking yeah. it away from them, you know, much more of like a sovereign way of like mm-hmm. your finances yeah you yeah you take control of it yourself you're responsible for it there's nobody that can help you if you lose it it's, mm-hmm. it's, you have a responsibility for exactly. sure because you can lose it and people do or they get scammed out of it you know there's a lot of people trying to steal your money all the time and yeah. especially now that it's so easy like they'll send you a link and you click the link and next thing you know your wallet is empty <laughs> and, and you see even i mean very important people have been scammed like oh really yeah i mean there was a guy Kevin Rose? Do you know Kevin Rose? No. I, I don't remember what, what he familiar. does. But he he recently lost twenty three million dollars worth of <laughs> NFTs. And just what, be, because what kind he of NFT, though? um board? crypto kitties, uh, board apes, yeah, crypto punks, things uh, high value yeah. NFTs. Um how he just got his wallet scan? Um, yeah, it's usually a, a, a link. Uh, you click this link to download something for free or you claim something and you don't know that you're claiming or you're giving access to your private keys. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, you have to be very careful. Uh, uh, people are l- clicking things without thinking. Mm-hmm. You know, late at night, you're in bed. It's or being lazy. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. You're on your laptop. You're like, oh, this looks interesting. Or it'll say, get something free. And they do it. And next thing you know, it's like, oh, no, you lost your whole life savings. Gosh, yeah. So, yeah, it's like. It's also a scary part of it. Yeah, that's. I think that's what keeps people away. Because it seems like you're, it's very easy to lose your money. Mm-hmm. You know, you can put your money in pretty easily, but you can also lose it pretty easily. And yeah. and it is sort of like gambling. You know, people especially with nfts you yeah they get very popular and then they just go away and it's a hype thing yeah. yeah hype yeah so so more of a for me it's more of a hobby like i've never never bought at the right time sold at the right time like like i remember seeing board apes come you know be announced they were 0.08 eth i think they're like 30 or 40 dollars and 
Mm-hmm. I go, well, those look stupid. Those are ugly. I don't want to. I don't want to buy those. But then next thing you know, they're four hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, like, oh Justin my God. Bieber and like yeah. Michael Jackson uh-huh. and all and the like, celebrity yeah. approach. And know. I saw it come and go, and I just never even gave it any thought. Like those are the, those opportunities are missed. You know, you really could regret it, but you can't look backwards. Like you have to just make your decisions and just go forward. You know yeah. what I mean? Like also have to be like an enough educated approach to. You can like flip a lot of like mm-hmm. crypto or like what do you call it, shit coins. But at the yeah. same, at the end of the day, if you have no idea what's going on, no, yeah. then you have to put a lot of education. You have to start yeah. with Bitcoin, and then you can get the whole idea right. of what's going on. Yeah, you you think you're like an influencer or a trader or something, but really you just got lucky a couple of times mm-hmm. and you bought at the right time and made some money. But it it can become an addiction or almost like gambling basically yeah. you're 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 just trying to hit the lottery all the time trying to get the next big one so for me it's just more of kind of like a hobby just and i and i found out that i enjoyed talking to all these artists just because their their stories are interesting huh. and most of them are not from here but i've talked to american artists too like you know guys in new york and florida and different parts oh uh, who does the same thing mm-hmm. mm. and so they end up they're they're very receptive to people asking them questions because normally nobody they just buy and sell they don't Mm -hmm. really think about where it came from but if you find the guy or the girl that made it and you ask them how they made it and why they they have you know interesting stories like interesting yeah it's just it's really cool and and so going through like telegram rooms you'll people will give you little tidbits of information like oh this this card right here that's my dog that I took a picture of him on the farm and mm-hmm. he's holding a stick and uh, the or no one guy was like uh, I, I have a fish fish uh, farm right okay and so he he made a card of the, his dog with a fish bone in his mouth and he goes that dog's name is Rusty or something like that and uh-huh. and so now it's like oh that's a p- piece of information that nobody knew the until he said it okay it, like he just happened to be sitting there and he said hey you know here's here's why i made this this one thing mm-hmm. and then i go oh i gotta write that down you know take it put it in the wiki because oh, nice. otherwise it's all lost lost information and you know so i would rather have lots of people know about it and and find out about it and and it, it gives them sort of um affirmation or you know clout like you say hey go read about this guy's stuff mm-hmm. on this page and, and they're they're very thankful more validity yeah 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 right because they have an actual point a page that they can point to and show people like yeah here's mm-hmm. my work and here's you know these people talking about it and so it's beautiful so man. i ended up doing yeah like i've been work, working on the wiki working on medium articles and then the actual physical hard copy now that's a lot of work though it was yeah it took me like seven months of nights and weekends kind of because yeah. you know i have a family i have a job it's not i couldn't do it full time mm-hmm. so i had to like plug away just a little bit every time and then finding the the publisher and things like that to, mm-hmm. to actually print them and like the first one that came back it was really low quality uh, the you know it wasn't oh okay uh, it was a soft cover book it was like regular paper not glossy paper mm-hmm. and, and my wife and daughter they go that that doesn't look very good. Like this book, okay. you deserve a better product. Like the, the amount of work you put mm-hmm. into it, you, it should look better, like more something that you would be proud of. Okay. And so then I kind of went back to the drawing board and found another company. And then I, when I got this one, I go, oh, this looks so much better, you mm-hmm. know, like a professional, like it does though. Yeah. It's like a photo a photography book, like a, t- like a coffee table book, something like that. And yeah. So, very, very high. Yeah. High quality. And so then when I found those guys in um, New York, scarce city, they, they were interested in like representing it for me they did the auction and now they do the sales nice all the ongoing sales yeah so that's beautiful i'll put the link in the description oh, yeah, guys i appreciate it of yeah, course and uh something. stuff and let's put this up and it's yeah. uh, coming in a beautiful time yeah. we're gonna start like having that and then so yeah, it's just something to do and meet way to meet people and then just kind it's of beautiful. uh continue my education you know meeting guys like you that's been around mm-hmm. a little bit and knows how to uh well you're still learning yourself right uh, yeah with especially with crypto yeah like yeah. i would hold like my whole uh i'm still like it's a process of like tens of thousands of hours mm-hmm. of knowledge so i wouldn't say that i understand what's going on but i understand for the principle because i've been guided by like good examples right. and people who had like you genuine know, interest in you like, know where to look like where 100 where I, I understand the general concept that's the main yeah. thing that, yeah like, you have to understand you have to wake up to it and like realize oh this is a good idea yeah and i'm gonna put some time and money into it 100 yes. because 
it's not something you just do one time. Like you're, it's ongoing. It's a lifelong thing. Lifelong yeah. education, yeah. and like it becomes a, a part of your day almost. Like oh, I got to do this. I got to buy this and move it. And you think you, you're doing too much. And so. you, yeah, you do too much. And then you even worry about like how are people gonna get it? Like, what if I die? I I want these funds to go to my family. Like they don't even know anything about mm -hmm. it. Like, so you got to think about the future too. Like, mm -hmm. so like okay i have a secret password it's over here you can find it here you go get it you find somebody to help you that you trust mm -hmm. and like you know in an actual emergency mm -hmm. or something like it's because you die with all your knowledge right like correct yeah that's why the point of this too uh -huh. is sharing knowledge yeah you have your share your knowledge yeah, before it's too late yeah. yeah it's like yeah people there's so much information in people's heads that uh, it's better to get it there's out there's no way out to it to, yeah. to let people share it and yeah learn from your mistakes or your mm -hmm. your uh, knowledge and so yeah that's but that's something i've been thinking about lately is like just because i'm getting older and actually i go make a will and a trust and all these things i'm like come hmm, on Brian. i wonder how my wife would get my bitcoin or how she would get my pepes <laughs> just because <laughs> she just looks at it and goes i don't know what you're doing i don't understand it i don't want to know about it like so she I'm doesn't like, see like the value out of it yet uh, yeah that's the thing she's like do people actually buy these i'm like yes look the, someone just bought this for fifty thousand dollars just like 10 minutes ago yeah. she's like oh my god and you have some of those i go yeah i don't i don't have like the best ones but i have some you mm -hmm. know i'm c doing different collecting and but and so uh, but but she doesn't want to talk about the the, the the finality like she doesn't want to think about me dying obviously you know, nobody want to do nobody wants to think about that yeah like people are uh, go out and buy their plot and their headstone and their, their you know, you can prepay for your funeral kind of. Um, and, and we were start talking about that when we were looking to do our will and all these mm. things. And she doesn't want to deal with it. She's like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't like that. I just too sad. Like it's, it's too real. Like you don't, you have to plan for it, but you don't want to plan for it. Like, yeah. But then you don't want to have your children be burdened. Like, go through the process of having to do all that stuff. hundred percent. Yeah. 100%. And so if you could take away some of that, like in advance, it's, it's, they would appreciate it in the future, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's weird how you think about your finances or, or your possessions and like you, you want to make sure they're, they're taken care of, like you're taking care of your family. Or uh, yeah. hundred yeah. percent. And just like these difficult conversations are going to bring it up by yourself. You mm -hmm. got to, you gotta sit down and write a will. Nobody I like to do that, right. but then that's something you have to do right. because you know we're finite, you know, yeah, objects. Just, you just don't know how long you're gonna be around, and, <laughs> yeah. and you know, it wasn't supposed to be here like ten years ago. So I know yeah. I've, I've heard some of your story. It's amazing. I, I can't believe the. I can't believe how positive you are for what you've been through. That's that's yeah, really get surprising. that out of quite some That's what I'm surprised. <laughs> uh, like this guy should not be this happy. Like <laughs> he's had <laughs> he a lot of sadness. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I guess you you make yourself that way. Like you could you could either be very very sad and angry, or mm -hmm. you can be happy, positive. Yeah. Like but there's a way of like looking out of it. Yeah, you definitely. you make that choice, right? Like. I don't want to be sad and miserable and think about the past. Like I'm going to try to be positive and mm -hmm. be happy with what I have or mm -hmm. who, my, you know, my friends and my family. Mm -hmm. But that, that was something that I've been thinking about. Like this guy, why is this guy so happy? Like <laughs> he's been through some bad things. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. And then is. I think, well, uh, I, I have it pretty easy. Like, why am I mad or am I sad all the time? And this guy's like had some yeah. real problems and he's happy. So I guess it'd have to push you to that, uh, external edge where you're like pain is too much for you to stay in like the same thought pattern the mm -hmm. same ideas the same even identity mm -hmm. that you thought you were right and uh, it wasn't easy man it was just like a like a, a glass breaking mm -hmm. you know and spilling whatever mm -hmm. is in it you know you, you had to like rebuild yourself your life unfortunately i had to destroy it, it, it was unfor yeah it's like going through that past it was destroyed mm -hmm. unintentionally my mm -hmm. whole like identity parameters of way or like perception of yeah. looking at the world and life yeah what uh, what is my value what is the point of life you know mm -hmm. all that stuff and once you that's why we're trying to share this knowledge yeah. is just they lack the same understanding to the same concepts on a day-to-day -day basis yeah well they need to know that it's possible that you, you you can't 
live in your past you know oh, you have yeah. to move forward and to lessen, and try yeah. to become better yeah because that's the only that's your only option yeah. i mean yeah. uh, like you're saying you don't want the other option like you don't want to uh, become depressed or take your own life or something like that like you're unfortunately you, uh, you see that a lot uh, yeah in the in, in in age your, right now like yeah. Yeah, it's insane yeah you know? and so something you just have to force yourself to do it to get better kind of 100%. like how are you going to fix yourself and how are you going to make your, keep yourself happy and and it starts a new mentality though mm -hmm. you have to start there you cannot look at any any other way yeah yeah no, it's, it's impressive. Like, like I don't Thank know you. you that well, but well, but getting to know you, I'm 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 uh, I'm impressed that Thank you. like the amount of time and and Effort. energy that you give to other people. Like, yeah. you take time out of your day to to help other people, which hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's that. Like, you, my my ethos is like I think that you're highest when you're at service. Mm. You know, and mm -hmm. I mean it's different like ways of providing value. Mm -hmm. Mine was always service. I, okay. was, uh, I was always coming out from that route. That's like what's in nature with me. Mm -hmm. So uh, even when I went to school, pharmacy, I, like my intent was to help people get healthier, get better. That's right. what, that's what the whole idea of like me looking at what kind of preservatives, what kind of like stuff in our food and stuff like that. It's just from the same idea of me trying to help, you okay. know. And and that's that's one way of of helping people, like. Obviously, your doctors, nurses, mm -hmm. pharmacists, like health mm -hmm. nutritionists, um, gym, yeah. you know, personal trainers. Like, there's different ways to help people, and uh, you're you're kind of taking it from the health per perspective. Like, you you sp you learned a lot going through unintentionally too. It's just like slum yeah. dog, you know, no, uh, wise guy, uh -huh. pretty much. You right. know, I collected all these different fields of knowledge. Okay uh so fast growing up mm -hmm. and then uh through that i was missing the main part which was the mentality part aspects and looking forward and like in life in general mm -hmm. uh because i was so restricted and for a person like me I, we can go through like human design did we go through that before no so for a person like me if people are familiar with human design I, i'm a manifester so that's that kind of like i'm like nine percent of the population so imagine being mm. like 91 percent of the population does not understand you oh, okay. not only that it's you have this kind of repelling aura because you don't have that uh root like uh that sacral and root chakras uh, mm. defined so you're more of a like a person who can start things and start making them but people get offended or people might be intimidated or people might take it the wrong way because once i am in a spot my energy is pushing other people away because i have finite sort of source of energy so it's like like that's why like if somebody didn't see me and you show me behind them and like they get freaked out mm. it's like it's not really didn't do anything yeah. it's just like they didn't feel the energy no but like it's silent you know but I see. so it was pretty interesting knowing about that mm -hmm. and like how people were acting around me so you gotta be kind you gotta be generous with the smile because yeah. there's no other way for me to communicate yeah and i can like nothing starts for me people are so intimidated to come in and mm -hmm. talk or have a conversation uh -huh. i have to be the initiator i have to be the one oh, yeah. Yeah. to come back and extend the hand of like approach understanding enveloping this trust that mm -hmm. is i'm here i'm listening yeah well that, that, yeah that's the reason that i felt uh comfortable mm -hmm. going into a strange place like like yeah you approach me with a smile and yeah. a handshake or a hug and i'm like oh who's this guy like this, yeah. He's very, <laughs> yeah yeah he's he's welcoming he's not like negative he's trying to help me like mm -hmm. you see somebody that's alone and you go talk to them and see yeah. what they're going what's going on and because you're never alone though oh right yeah yeah, yeah you just got to be in the right place and and like uh, yeah. yeah and be willing to talk and listen like uh, i think people just don't listen really they <laughs> they just want to hear themselves or you it's know true yeah. Yeah. or they'll ask you a question and somehow they turn it right back around to themselves mm -hmm. like, like you really if you're able to listen and give a little feedback i think that's a better way it's also if you want to learn though and that's like most oh yeah yeah some people don't learn they just yeah they stay in their own patterns and or like take it from like a uh ego or like mm -hmm. a, pers a perspective of like uh, i'm gonna show this guy i know uh, like oh, i'm right. the shit i was like okay so there's it's just, it, that's their parameter so they didn't want to listen so just try to get whatever they're comfortable yeah. with you know you have to be more humble like yeah yeah instead yes. of being uh, braggadocious or yeah loud you you're you're quiet and humble and and you're 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 able to listen and show them that you're you're actually 
compassionate. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Cause those you type of people, to, they, they drive people away just because they're so loud or so negative or they're, you can be loud and good like you can yeah. be loud and good work like with b- parameters with mm-hmm. different like intensity mm-hmm. but you're not li- you d- d- you d- it's very easy to tell or for people to see that it's just you're coming out of like oh uh, i'm this uh egotistical mm-hmm. kind of guy i'm talking down mm-hmm. on people and, oh right you know i'm not really providing it's something that i know most of you are not aware so it's uh-huh. not your fault you know oh, it's yeah. just it's different you're, you, you spend your time putting other people down instead of like building them up or something. Yeah. But why? To feel better? Oh, right. You yeah, that doesn't gain you anything really. I mean, yes, I man. <laughs> people who try to put other people down to right. feel. Sorry for keep interrupting, but this <laughs> no, is that makes, good, it makes good, sense. Good, yeah, I'm just thinking about project, it now. Like, yeah. yeah, those type of people are not the ones you want to hang out with because yeah. they just they put too much negativity, and you're just like, oh, I, I can't take it anymore. Like, it's it's taking. You're just bringing me down kind of like you'd rather be with someone that's that's educated and someone that has things to give you and like you know ideas and share the knowledge kind of because yeah. you you have different experiences different you know skill sets we're right. all born with it is some some stuff come for you easier right brian than it comes for me right right like yeah this 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 amazing work especially i think because you have like more of an artistic art and you appreciate it mm. a lot better more so it it worked out for what well, well for you you mm. know i'm like regardless what kind of skill sets i got right i know that design and art is not my strong skill. well that's <laughs> i mean mean too i'm not an artist i i just i i'm more of a i'm good at researching organizing mm-hmm. thoughts um getting things in order mm-hmm. you know documenting things that's more of my skill set but but i end up talking to these guys which are they're completely different mm-hmm. like they're 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 just kind of wild like you know yeah. artists are free like they just have so many different thoughts going through their head like they're but they don't they're not organized sometimes like they have so many ideas yeah. that they don't get anything done like they i go hey what happened to this thing oh i got mm-hmm. i forgot you know i just got got busy doing something else and so it's i'm more uh, like analytical like you know things have to be in order Discipline, structure Dis- yeah like, which is yeah so any, it's, any it's, it's opposite of art but it's it's sort of like in that neighborhood it's 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 just different like more there's analytical more analytical than than mm. artistic but that's actually a beautiful topic so you think yeah. if you're not because everybody has to have a structure in their day where they're mm. like without a structure it's easy for you to like you know, d- like whatever drift or get away from like your goal or point <laughs> I think that is required for everyone though not only artists like you right yeah well yeah you have to yeah you gotta get certain things done every Mm -hmm. day just you know i mean especially if you have a job and a family and you have responsibilities more responsibilities 100 percent. you gotta make time for everything and you gotta things you know things you don't even want to do but you still you have to maintain like you know things happen and you just you have to deal with them so how do you keep doing things that is you know it's good for you in the long term but it sucks doing at the time yeah it's difficult like i just kind of go one day at a time you know and try to beautiful try to make the best of it like you just you know something happened and you got to fix it and just just keep going keep going right uh uh-huh because you can't just cry about it you just gotta (laughs) you just gotta keep on going (laughs) that but sometimes that's that's bad too because you want to have some future <laughs> plans like I'm, I'm not too good at, at making future plans future goals like i think i need to learn that skill oh like, really yeah but like, this is a future plan right i here. mean i mean i had a goal and i met it right like i wanted to do it and i did it mm-hmm. so that's but like new year's resolutions or like vision boards like things like goals that you want to have for mm-hmm. the future it's difficult for me to come up with something and S- mm. and, and I guess I have to just be motivated. Um, like if I have an idea and I finish it and I'm I, I, I'm happy about it, mm-hmm. but then other things I'm like, oh, I'll do that later. You know, that can wait. You know, so I think you have to really be focused on it to to get it done. It has to be obsession. Yeah. Uh huh. That's right. And it's sometimes it's it doesn't. You're not allowed to do that because you have other things to ha- you responsibilities. Know, responsibilities. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If I had no job, I could. I have plenty of time to do uh, all kinds of different things. But, but you have to have money. You have to pay your bills. And correct. Sometimes you get too overwhelmed. You have too much stuff. You know, stuff you don't need, and you you could get by with a lot less. You know, time is is probably your most important asset. asset. Uh huh. And you just you forget that sometimes. Like yeah, wasting time. You waste time. Yeah, it's like you gotta. 
think of things you want to do and get done and, and so that's that's something that I need to work on especially like setting goals and 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 doing them you know like it's just it's important but it's just it's easy to procrastinate like it's very yeah. easy to say I, I I don't have time for that I don't feel like doing that I don't I'll, you know I'll do that later so like like you're I think you're more disciplined like you're saying I'm gonna eat this I'm gonna go to the gym I'm gonna like I mean I'm gonna drink this much water I'm gonna do this like, but it's true it's true like I, I, I get it yeah 100% mm -hmm. you're right about this yes so yes, yes. so that's a benefit that like you you know what you're gonna do today like you know how mm -hmm. much time you have to work out and what yeah, time you have to wake up but, 100%, yeah. but, but me I'm like oh I'll just sleep in I don't I don't want to wake up it's too early I don't mm -hmm. want, you know I'll do it maybe I'll do it later after work and then after work he said no I'm too tired I'll do it tomorrow or something so I think I was lucky since I was a kid mm -hmm. from doing like this uh kung fu uh and like understanding the discipline of because w w once you're like fighting you have to lose a lot of weight mm -hmm. so you starve yourself and then you overeat and gorge oh. after the diet and once you did that like m <laughs> multiple times uh -huh. i was like numerous times yeah. growing up so like the whole point of two extremes is not really attractive for you mm. yes i can starve myself i know i can do that oh, and yes i can overeat i know i can do that we all can yeah. do that so the both extremes is not really interesting because mm. you've done them so many okay. times right yeah so the idea for like okay so i gotta like work around mm -hmm. what is sustainable and what is mm. longevity and yeah now you want to maintain something yeah because you're not doing it uh, professionally it's just something that you want to try to s keep uh, trying to like be a functional able body that uh, like i appreciate strength a lot mm -hmm. and it's not only like having a low fat percentage or looking good mm -hmm. it's like it, muscle is not really a vanity it's a way of like survival mm. they test like how people would live by like the strength of their grip but stuff like that yeah so you got to be able to just and and the more you get older the more the harder you need to work yeah. because you know they don't have the same reaction for mm -hmm. body to do the same thing and uh going through that as well is like okay so i dialed it down to what kind of uh amino acids what kind of like uh, supplementation of like carotene of like uh, coq10 of like different variety yeah. where it can th your body's uh, 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 collagen is important too your body's like dwindling mm -hmm. on these substances but once you supplement them it's actually pretty interesting it's not that far though like that's that's what i'm saying but again it's all a mental thing though. yeah well you have to be disciplined it's easy to be lazy it's easy to eat whatever you want to eat like it's, it takes discipline to to not eat and to and it takes discipline to exercise on a daily basis because but also uh, only at the beginning though, you have Brian. to just get that routine right you have to develop that like habit three weeks or like to, four weeks to, in you have an itch to uh -huh. go to the gym uh -huh. like the day i don't even work out or, or like will like had to do a lot of videos or something. I feel like oh, I'm like, suffocated. Oh, I it. Uh -huh. You know, even when you try to go at night, it's just like okay, like you drained all your energy, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna see whatever is left for the workout. Yeah. But when you try to do it in the morning, it gives you more energy during mm -hmm. the day. It's like this is insane. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've done that. I like I, I had a one for one a little spurt. I took a six a.m. class, and then yeah, you're right by the four or five o'clock you feel like that class was in a different day like it, you feel like you got more time mm -hmm. than it's only been six hours but it feels like it was 24 hours yeah but you know waking up at 5 20 getting to 6 a.m class and, and getting it done and getting home getting mm -hmm. back to work it, it you feel accomplished for sure because before seven or eight a.m you've already done something hard correct like you got yourself out the door and you did something difficult and so i think you're right it's just like getting that habit getting yourself into that habit because mm -hmm. as soon as you stop you realize oh sleeping is pretty good too like i could sleep till 7 a.m 8 a.m mm -hmm. and but it's not the same like you're more tired you're you have to drag yourself out isn't it funny when it's, like it's, you sleep before 12 uh -huh. like the 9 10 a. Uh, yeah. p.m yeah that recovery when you wake up is completely different if you slept even the same hours at 12 mm -hmm. or 1 a.m from 12 yeah it's yeah, wild from midnight right till 8 a.m right yeah, so it's go to bed earlier, then you can wake up earlier, get your stuff done. So it's just hard, or you just have excuses, you know. Like the you get older and you get tired, you get you get sore. It takes longer to recover, mm -hmm. you know. Like even something simple like doing yard work might take me 
three, four days because I maybe I hurt my hamstring, I hurt my back, you know, just from bending over for a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. like, and so you have to be willing to make yourself more flexible, more strong so mm -hmm. that you can, you can tolerate that kind of stuff. Yeah. Right? Like, I think I heard you in one of your other it's podcasts, you're saying like, oh, your bones get weaker or they get hundred percent. Yeah. The older you get, you get weaker bones. Without resistance training. Yeah. hundred percent. So yeah. So you got to do something every day at least to try to get yourself stronger and more flexible and, and it's not that hard yeah. though i'm sorry you're saying it's hard but it's not I that know. hard because it's just for me i was able to dial it down to like one two three when you wake up mm -hmm. so you stretch like uh, we need to this kind of workout until you can able to increase your stamina increase on yeah. food so i mean i'm sad to hear this but i'm yeah. gonna let him uh, yeah. obviously yeah. you know i will share with you like whatever i can no yeah, of course man mm -hmm. you like people like and again they look at uh, Sylvester or Arnold, the like mm -hmm. famous actors, like, well, they're, they're actors, they're yeah. celebrities, they're all they're in gear. Putting 10 hours of, of, of gym yeah. time in. Just and, and, and also, like, using enhancement stuff, right. you know? And, yeah. and that's, like, well, the concept is, is, like, no, it's, it, well, enhancement stuff work, like, 10 to 15 mm. to 20 percent or mm -hmm. just maintain whatever. But if he doesn't have the main thing, yeah. the ritual, the clean food, the yeah. clean diet... That yeah, is diet, the majority of yeah, the work. Yeah, diet is the majority of it, actually, because that, yeah, because the physical part of it is, it doesn't work unless you have the diet. Because mm -hmm. yeah, so I think maybe just having someone to keep me uh, in check. <laughs> uh huh. That's actually a good part too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because if you, if you can't do it yourself, then you have somebody help you. Mm -hmm. you get like a personal trainer, or even mm -hmm. just somebody to motivate you and say, "Hey, did yeah. you work out today?" And you know, kind of call you on it. And yes. So, Yes, that's the whole idea of so. this is I think it's just for most of us, it's not about the diet. It's not about the workout. Mm -hmm. It's not about the exercise. It's about the mentality. Why we keep going in and out of the same mm -hmm. loop, you know, it's like, yeah. are we really gaining anything if we're going? Because you can be doing everything we're saying. You can get that good, but you're still thinking horribly about yourself. Oh, you're th yeah. thinking you're not enough. Right. So what are you going to do with self-sabotage technique? You're going to try to ruin uh -huh. whatever you got. Yeah, and it's why I, I do that. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I, <laughs> I do that. Like, I'm like, oh, I work too hard, but and, and it's and it's legit. Like you should reward yourself, but also one thing I learned when I was a young kid was like only animals get rewarded with food. I was like, oh mm. shit! I was like, this is so bad, and yeah. it's true yeah. because once you have put food in you. You're more into like geared into that kind of animal. Like mm. you're more ego. Mm -hmm. You're more lustful. Mm -hmm. You have more appetite for everything. You want trouble. Okay. You want like oh, what? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Right. Because it increases your vitality and, and energy, energy and like yeah. and, and it's, it's not like that. Increased energy is not it's not it's good or, or like. But what kind of energy would you need for the day? Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't have a plan, if you have a lot of wasted time, yeah. if you have like free time, which is not yeah. structured day, you don't have things yeah. to do all the time everywhere anytime yeah. which is supposed to be the way we live though you know mm -hmm. uh then like oh you're gonna be alone then it's gonna always obviously gonna come back to the same circuit of yeah. like yeah dopamine hits you know yeah I mean, we it's we have it too easy now there's too much food available you have, you have cars you have in you know you don't have to work very hard to get what you need like, mm -hmm. yeah people used to spend so much time getting food and and you know they would walk everywhere and yeah. you know, now yeah. it's like you very rarely move have to move out of your yeah. chair like everything can be delivered to you or you know very simply that's not that's not really that's convenience it's like mm -hmm. convenience has never been a problem with really development mm -hmm. i think it's more of the adapting mm -hmm. we're forgetting who we are as yeah. like kind of the human body is so resilient and yeah. strong and you go back like 500 years ago these people were working like mm -hmm. not working but just their lifestyle is literally physical work to us survival right and it's not even survival. There even was kingdoms like and forty years, years. yeah, uh, sixty years ago. There was before so the industrial revolution. Yeah, hundred percent. The sixties were were so thin, but they also died earlier. They didn't have the proper nutrition, but they didn't overeat, and they had to actually exert energy. You know, they were doing manual labor mm -hmm. more than now. But it's it's like it's become too easy to to overeat and to be lazy. Like you can. But what do you think about that? Uh, because that's another part. Like you watched the one with Akash, right? The first uh, mm -hmm. episode. Yeah. This dude is so beautiful. I love him to death. <laughs> love Akash, man. <laughs> I swear to God. He's yeah. just Because it's just been there for me, man. And yeah. he was like, he, he had this heightened awareness and he was able to share that with me. Mm -hmm. He was like, look, man, he just, you are like the whole process of you thinking about yourself as 
uh, I want to get something for me because mm-hmm. that's what I used, I used to do. I mean, I mentioned a lot. I was only like disappear for one or two years, just grab another license and it's all by myself, mm. coming back like everybody because it's just a, a, like like you know, I would say like bilateral of doing business or studying for too long is just you're not really having time with anyone for anything oh, yeah. you're doing 18 to 20 hours a day yeah, and it's insane just cramming and just cramming yeah. thank you cramming information for exams, yeah. <laughs> and uh, you come back to people it's like after all of that I lost like almost my social influence. People were close mm. to me, thought I like the what I, not, not contacting them or something. For oh, me, this is being focused from everybody. Yeah, because you're so uh, you just wanted to study and get through the and get through the thing. Yeah. And then when I come out, I was like, oh, it's another horrible restrictions of like mm-hmm. the board of like the oh, places yeah. you work of the harassment you deal yeah. with because not everybody's coming from the same prospect of like. Uh, I want to give a uh, love yeah, and yeah. value, and you know, and that and that's it. Everything that comes out is like you know, and like bilateral, like mm. a, a, a thing that is not really you're planning for. If you're doing what you love and providing value and benefit to the whole collective and community, then ev- like that's the only way for you to 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 be satisfied, to get mm. whatever uh, financial stature you want. Because mm. you any going out of it in any other way. It's only going to turn back as like you're going to work for the reward for something you hate and something you hate is never going to get you what you want. So, uh, yeah, that's the hard thing. It's like my main goal is to not work. Like I would love to just retire, you know, but you can't do that at the, and when you have certain responsibilities. So, of course. So, yeah, if you can do something that makes you happy on the side or, you know, maybe it'd be your main thing. Yeah. 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 You turn your hobby into your career sort mm-hmm. of like, you know, very few people do that, but they it's possible like but the ones who do they're 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 the happiest people like and the most successful and successful too. because they love what they're doing like yeah. they don't view it as work you know steve jobs you mm-hmm. know one of those people just just driven and and yeah, just the design and like yeah the quality yeah. of the product yeah. and without him actually apple wouldn't have the same name right. brand and same right. like you know for people like they're almost like singularly focused like too focused mm-hmm. you know he he almost hit his own detriment obsession like, yeah yeah just obsessed with with perfection kind of but then but then he neglected his health like he didn't believe what his doctors yeah. were trying to tell him and like, it cost him years mm-hmm. you know so uh, it's a delicate balance like you got to you got to do everything right and that's the hardest thing like but not everything right though like for, because for me, if you know what's right, you're going to do it eventually more than what's wrong. Mm-hmm. That's like just an innate nature to humans, mm-hmm. right? So if you know what's right and you already have a structure that guides you to do the right thing most of the time, yeah. then like nine times out of ten, you're going to do it because you, you're really doing the wrong thing or what do you think is the wrong mm-hmm. thing because also I don't like judging. Right. That's another thing. Right. I don't like judging anything you do right. for is it good or bad because mm-hmm. no there's a lot more yeah. ways to look at it especially yeah. if i'm a one person like i want to see the other person point of view it wouldn't be ex- mm-hmm. not exactly the same and we yeah. couldn't even agree on that that's good or bad for you yeah. right so you just let let people do what they want but but still offer help if they ask for it or, or yeah or, uh, your expertise or your you know something that you might think could help them or you know if they want to and that's yeah. the whole idea of I'm not f- like the whole idea of trying to like when people trying to get aware, uh, like and uh, trying to be better in mm-hmm. general, th- it's their call. It's not mine You're right. because I would hear the same thing. Oh, right. Yeah. You can't force someone to do something. I mean, they have to right. want to do it. That's the hardest part. The, yeah. And you feel like you failed if they didn't do it, but it's not up to you. Like you, you're not going to come to my house and cook my food and take me to the gym. Like I have to do that for myself. Exactly. You know? And then, and Perfect. then I could tell you about it and you'd be proud of me. And then that's, you know, that's a different thing. But, but yeah, the person has to want it for themselves. Otherwise it's, it's not it, going to happen. Yeah. And it's like a personal dialogue. Like mm-hmm. if you're not that person that think, Oh, I may be making money, but mm-hmm. my body's going out of shape or maybe mm-hmm. good shape, but I don't know how to make money. Mm-hmm. Or like I may be in good shape and know how to make good money, yeah. but everything else is falling apart. Uh-huh. Right. So that's right. why I'm like doing with desperate perception pro. Uh, a product and the service is like body mind and soul so you're not mm-hmm. only going to look your best you're going to feel your best mm-hmm. because the quality and the amount of like yeah. the kind of food you're getting yeah. is so very specified on and then we're going to deal with the mentality the different concepts of you like mantra yeah. and starting every day and having meditation yeah. two or three times a day 
having these rituals, mm-hmm. having these disciplines. Just try to pick, take them out of their negative place. If they because negative is the devil. Uh-huh. Because unfortunately, like we're that shell of light from God because we're all the same soul or like collective or mm-hmm. like we're, we're all connected and it's pretty strange. We don't, un- we don't believe in that. I like don't, don't uh-huh. admit that 100%. Uh, that when you're like feeling you're isolated, that's when you get weakness. You mm. know, that's when you want to do things for your own, mm. for your like hit dopamine, pleasure, mm. ego, vanity, lust, mm. you know, anger, revenge. Yeah. All that comes from like you're not l- really going through the light. And what is the light? And like, what is the purpose of any soul? Is just express love mm. and expressing that to the benefit of the collective through your providing value, service. Yeah. Yeah, you just want to be a good person and and not cause any harm to anybody. Like you, but f- yes, that's the problem. Like you try to help as much as you can, and because yeah, you want to be a, a better person. Like yeah, it's, it, you have to realize that you're not helping anybody by being hurtful or being negative. Yeah, or, something. or like you said, like judging. Like, like you want to be able to listen and look at everything. Uh-huh, yeah, no, just, just, just don't offer, have like this. Just yeah. offer help. I mean, it's it's difficult to do. I mean, you want to. You think so? Yeah, I mean that's just in people's nature. Like they love to talk trash and break people down. Or but yeah. that's like the ba- yeah, yeah. But it just it doesn't it doesn't help you. I mean, gossip. Yeah, gossip. Right. Yeah, and you can't worry about if people are doing better than you or, or worse yeah. than you. Like you it's can't. Me versus me. Yeah. Like I used to have on my my computer. Um, envy is the thief of joy. Mm-hmm. So you you worry about what other people have too much. You don't worry. You don't realize what you have like mm-hmm. maybe they're looking at you the same way they, mm-hmm. they think you have everything but you think they have everything yeah. and, but so i think if you're more positive and, and you're able to just talk and listen you figure out oh we're both doing pretty good like you know we could help each other out maybe and i don't need to to worry about what you have or what i have like mm-hmm. um you, you, you just be more like you said more of service like if you need to talk to somebody you need to find out what they need like don't just worry about what you're not getting like you you were talking about like the um, mentality of mm-hmm. feast or famine like mm-hmm. right like some people will only worry about themselves and trying to gather as mm-hmm. much as they can without the, ser- the, so the the service of self mm-hmm. which is unfortunately is the matrix though it's mm-hmm. like it, it kind of provide on like this a Kabbalian kind of ritual, which is also the like, Kabbalian is very beautiful if you read it and understood it correctly. But they're de- de- depending on like taken from the collective, mm. and that's pretty much what we're seeing on big scale, though, right? Mm. We're seeing famine and there is overfeeding in some parts of the world. Right. We're seeing like harm and hurt and, and 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 like detriment to other human beings for exactly the profit of others, mm-hmm. and that is just not okay with anyone, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah, people are starting to wake up to it and be like looking at things on a global scale instead of just them their own little area. Like, yeah. yeah, you could, but but sometimes you get overwhelmed and like you realize you can't really affect change. To you know, you don't directly control what's happening in yeah. most things. Like hundred percent, you can only control yourself. And that's where it that's starts. The, that's yeah. the hardest part, yeah. Because the state of the collective, the state we're in, is mm-hmm. because of the majority of the collective. Mm-hmm. The majority of people is not thinking good. It's right. always selfish. So uh, and it's not just pointing fingers. It's just like understanding that, okay, so this is the time where we try to understand a different or paradigm shift. Like, oh, we're not here to get something, to harm someone, mm-hmm. to have this ego, who is this, this guy. No, we're here to help each other out, mm-hmm. you know, for the benefit of all and harm mm-hmm. and none and just try to bring people up, you know. Yeah. But uh, trying to go against the grain, which I have one of my buddies, I know Brian, if you saw uh-huh. him. I love him to death too. Yeah. Uh, this dude has been amazing, but he's more like my perception is like I'm gonna contact you with like love. You know, mm-hmm. I understand what you're saying, but I'm gonna go back to the kind of basic principles that you're set your your, your law. And so, for example, if you're saying these people are bad, I'll be like, why you're saying why you're judging? Mm-hmm. Like you think that is you know, and why do you think it's just good here and not good there because the same people can be good in other stories and other people so it yeah it's more of approach but for him god, god bless his soul he just like more of like no you said something wrong mm. right now right here i'm mm. gonna make it make you aware mm. i'm gonna make fun of you i'm gonna taunt you i'm just gonna make you aware that what you're saying is kind of like not normal bs oh, I see. so he was like 
I think it's for 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 his principle it's like the truth is his message and for me it is love is the mm. message but well i mean we, we were because really i don't think like something anyone yeah. but again they need that wake up call mm-hmm. though you know uh but it, it also like a very like d- like difficult path to throw yourself out there do what you are saying uh don't want people to do but also you're doing it for the good that means you're gonna have like a lot of uh like self-governance of your mentality because yes you might go there and act the same way Mm. because in my perception if i acted the same way then what's the difference Mm. you know yeah so you're you're just more of a positive approach than trying to correct everybody yeah because i think people genuinely believe or act on a on a uh, a matter of like fear or like mm-hmm. self preservance or like sc- like scarcity mindset is like oh they're gonna take this from us they're mm-hmm. gonna win there's like okay it's just it's way bigger than this mm-hmm. but until you understand that uh, there is no there is no room for this conversation uh-huh. so like I told him and I told a lot of people yeah. before it, because so many lies have been out there and that's actually what runs most you know you know thing media coverage mm. any uh, news would have more fear than more love and hope, right? Right. So the idea is we're not even having the same conversation. So I'm not going to try to publicize any like kind of fear. I'm going to try to work on, oh, okay, I'm going to be the truth. Mm. You know, I'm going to be the truth first. So the truth is me loving myself, which is a step number one that mm-hmm. I know and for everybody should do. Mm-hmm. It is the healthiest thing you can do to yourself, you mm-hmm. know, with all the faults, with all the f- mess ups, with everything, just be completely in love with yourself. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the difficult part. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> for me, I don't know. I just, really? I don't Why can't you love yourself? I don't man? know. I just have a negative... Uh, negative outlook of myself i guess but yeah it's just like people like my wife will say yeah like you need to love yourself you need to appreciate what you have and so it's like oh i try but i like it's, it's negative thoughts come in you know and pretty easily like so what well so it's beautiful so did you meditate or no i have tried i, I um just a few times so it's Okay, we'll go through. I, I know the. I know how to do it. I just haven't done it. You know? So how to do it? How? What is your kind um, of principle? Just like sitting. I, like I tried different apps, like where they would play music and a, a gong every mm-hmm. minute, every two minutes, something like that, to try to help you get centered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, just sort of sitting, sitting down on the floor mm-hmm. and sitting still and trying not to think. Mm-hmm. Um, so like guided meditation. That's the one that I have tried. Um. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, that is so. the 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 most powerful versions for me was when I like try to shut everything down. Mm-hmm. You don't have to close my, your eyes, but I chose to close my eyes. And like I said before, it took me like six months to start aligning with the source because mm-hmm. I could not stop my analytical mind, mm-hmm. which is like five percent of your brain, which mm-hmm. is insane. Uh, of like all these like random thoughts coming in, and then thoughts right. will come and influence your emotion. What is emo- emotion? Is like you, like an energy in motion but it's just locked you can't mm-hmm. get it out it's because you're putting toxic thought because you're putting like rep- like a, a thought that is like not prosperous mm-hmm. that has nowhere to go so again Akash uh, he taught me that uh, when you're doing meditation so number one you're not thinking about everything right. anything you right. know, just focusing on one thing so you don't have to close your eyes you can put your hands in front of you or you can close mm-hmm. your eyes and like focus on your breath which mm-hmm. is commonly known but the idea is to like completely no thought. Right. And that is the, the state of bliss. Okay. The more you can prolong no thought for like, you know, 10 minutes, mm. two, three times mm. a day, the more you're going to have connection with like, huh, so I'm not really that thinking mind that is working 24 mm. seven. That is just a practical tool that I have. So but but, so but you're able to turn it off for a little yeah, while. Yeah. Yeah. Turning it off, mm. remind you of who you are yeah. and actually would have an ma- people call it downloads or whatever, but I think when you're in that frequency of l- more of receiving and listening and stop thinking about every little thing, mm-hmm. y- you actually have more guidance. Mm-hmm. You actually have more clarity in what you're gonna do because mm-hmm. when you wake up, it's like, why was I worried about so many things? I know exactly what I wanna do right now, right? And from there, it took me, like I said, six months to start like aligning. And once I did it like five 
10 seconds started very mm. slow for me yeah uh i was able to maximize on that to uh, know that what time would be better for me to do it so when i used to wake up just sit down my body would be like jumping up mm. and down i was like okay so we gotta chill that uh-huh. <laughs> you know? yeah. so we gotta like take cold shower if not you know just gotta work out just mm. gotta get that humbling experience at the beginning of the day because you wake up full of energy and full mm. of ego as well mm. it's like oh okay i'm i'm i'm, I'm like the shit it's like normal normal thoughts you know i'm better than whatever oh, yeah. like whatever we all think about ourselves we kind of think we're better than other people though and yeah. it's also good for our survival too and like our yeah. but it's it's not that you're better just maybe the way you're looking at it that just you've been gifted or like had selected some new pathways that is actually good for for you and you have to be grateful not be better mm. so the first key to loving myself was being grateful for everything i have and i know for some people we have nothing is like exactly that is the right place to start mm. you have to be grateful for nothing first mm. because the more you're grateful the more going to be stuff that is more beneficial mm. and more in harmony with what you're looking forward to but if you're not grateful for anything you know and like you're depending on people to give you your value yeah. which trust me i took that road yeah for like 32 years yeah. you know everything i went through was like vanity kind of yeah. approach yeah yeah uh, yeah as, as a young person yeah you're trying to yeah like i i, I and also it, it was i was tricked by the ego uh mm. shadow like pathway of mm. like oh you want to work hard, right? Then you want like help people, mm. right? Because that's also in line with what I wanted, dude. Yeah. It was so <laughs> insane my yeah. experience. So it's like, why don't you do go to like medical school mm. or something? I, I'm different than a lot of people. I know my my favorite subject was chemistry, and I'm more interested on in how stuff work, um, what is it made of, okay. than how is it works. Like, so my brother uh, is a projector, which is like the future leaders of the world. They can influence one person at a time. So regardless of that energy type, we're going to talk about it uh, after this. And then hopefully one of many. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you can teach me. L- yeah, lo- love, love having you here, yeah. man. It's just yeah. amazing, welcoming, yeah, you know, yeah. energy. And just that's, that's what we're here for, right. man. Showing people that doesn't matter what we look like, right. where we come from. Just There's love everywhere. Getting, There's support yeah, everywhere. People, uh-huh. yeah, people like he wanted what's good for me, right? Yeah. And he cares and he like give yeah. me pinpoints and stuff. Yeah. And it's like, this is beautiful, Easy man. To take yeah. you out of your place and show you how to change your yeah. your thinking. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that that's something I could do that kind of just to teach myself to be quiet and yeah, just listen and yeah it's uh, appreciate yeah just just being there like just waking up and being healthy being able to move like you see, sometimes you just forget like oh. you see someone in a wheelchair or someone without a limb you go wow you know like I, i'm not really that bad off like, yeah you, you just yeah. like you say you just take it back you take take it for granted mm-hmm. like you have to pay attention to what what the good things that you have because yeah it's easy to be, be grateful towards it's it. easy to be negative but yeah you have so much more than than what you need or what uh what other people have maybe mm-hmm. you know so yeah. i mean bro we're living in america you yeah. have your own roof over your head yeah you're making money to pay for rent and stuff which right. is by the way insane right and after <laughs> all of that like dude we're like the top one mm-hmm. percent of the world mm-hmm. do you understand that yeah they understand there's billions of, do- of people in right. india who doesn't even have, have a home don't have a thing yeah so that's that was like mm. a wake up call yeah. like you know so from this position guys like we are so blessed mm-hmm. and grateful and we mm-hmm. take it for granted that we don't want to extend our hand to see what's going on with the other community because oh, i'm just so comfortable i don't care it's right. like dude how does this yeah yeah that you have to break out and like get get other people's inf- opinions mm-hmm. yeah that's the thing like you sit at home too long by yourself and you you, you, you you bring yourself down or you mm-hmm. get um yeah isolation you, is you're a in dangerous. your bubble like yeah. yeah you just don't care you um, isolation is a dangerous area yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. And so you have to go out and meet people people that are different than you and mm-hmm. have different life stories different yeah, experiences i love yeah. it yeah yeah that's so, yeah yeah i think that's something i could definitely work on like like you could probably coach me on that like yeah <laughs> of course of course 100 yeah. percent. of course yeah like for uh, for everybody that's around me and that's also by sharing love mm-hmm. i want to like include him in my program so like 
I was able to help because, you know, like in different ways, you're supposed to help the people around you the most mm -hmm. because they're just the people that is like around you and like they're interested. They wish love and mm -hmm. genuine part of you to be like the best. And it's like so the, your, that energy is already flowing. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's like it's amazing. So why don't I share that best amount of knowledge yeah. that I collected with the people around me? making them get better feeling them get better i mean josh was like hit me up i was like what about this and that mm. you know what about that i was like okay here we go was like yeah, and just interesting the amount of people i was helped to get out like high blood pressure mm. diabetes type 2 like losing weight and that's normal by for anybody who lose weight and uh -huh. like get focused and like have a good regimen that they usually get off meds right Be and that's the goal right. and it's so it's it's interesting to see that it just you're more into your head as like, oh, this is where I'm at. That, that's who I will be. And mm -hmm. I disagree with that. Mm -hmm. This is who you were. Yeah. But and that's not who you can ever be. Yeah. And you were able to, just doing a few simple things, you were able to help change their life. Yes. Like, yeah, yes. I mean, getting someone off medication is a big deal. Mm -hmm. like, like everybody's pre-diabetic. Everybody has high blood pressure. And it's just like and you <laughs> could give them the knowledge to not, not be like that. You yeah. Know, like, just yeah. just kind of get them going in the right direction yeah yeah and it's easy like you mm -hmm. go to a convenience store all mm -hmm. the stuff in the convenience mm -hmm. store is pretty much corn right you know and it's uh god i just uh, it's fructose and like it's just different with maltodextrin different yeah. like uh, like th it wouldn't raise your blood sugar but it would do a lot worse things to your body and metabolism than even real glucose mm. and it's uh, so interesting to see that even like cane sugar or table sugar is not 100 percent glucose it's mm -hmm. just glucose and fructose like mm. okay so that's pretty weird so it's like okay so you got to take the veil off of what you're putting into that system is so horrible yeah for your metabolism for your body for yeah. your functions that it's wonder that like you didn't go insane just from all these uh, stuff that you've mm. been eating because you've been getting this hype of good energy and mm. all of a sudden you're hungry and not into mm. anything and then so you feel the low or down mm -hmm. it's like dude what is this uh -huh. you know what yeah. is this you know jumping around in your insulin response yeah. messing up your body yeah, going you have through to get more into like it's just fuel and energy like you 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 don't need very much to actually sustain no i think you need like you need you need a good amount of protein first yeah you need the proper thing yes like and, and a quality food cool yeah. amount of food too yeah. yeah i mean people would say that if you eat broccoli for like 30 grams of broccoli mm. and same with 30 grams of like meat or mm. chicken is like oh, dude no yeah because only beneficial to you is animal protein because mm -hmm. it have the good uh, like it have the profile of mm -hmm. amino acids that your muscle and mm -hmm. your body for functions yeah, needs right. yeah so when you try to skip that and go for just plants and mm -hmm. by the way like if you absorbed any of that 30 gram in broccoli because once you eat any plant you have to go through a fermentation process mm -hmm. in your gut and it takes like 80 percent out of that nutrients mm -hmm. and then it comes back to your body if it will absorb the anything out of it in the first place so like like you're going on a natural starvation kind of way but then again yes you need to include vegetables and that's like another conversation i had yeah. uh, because like fibers and stuff like that i mean that also it's interesting conversation because the people who did carnivore at the beginning it was very rough but after that there's like their gut is healthier than having that much so it's it's again it's different like i told you before we even started this we're just chatting about like how is it is like it's not the same it's not like one size fit all right i uh, just you you have to try it and yeah. see if it works for you yeah on your body type blood type yeah. metabolism lifestyle all that stuff mm -hmm. you're gonna direct like whatever it's most sustainable it's easier to keep up for a long term yeah. long time doing the same thing and it's yeah. beautiful yeah how do you think uh people that have like it's pretty easy for you to take care of yourself but if you have people that are, have a family like you're not going to make your whole family eat a certain way. Uh, you don't have to. You could just kind of do it for yourself. And yeah, yeah, because, you know, I think most part of the <laughs> delusion that we live in right mm -hmm. now, that people can say something and act the other way, mm -hmm. don't do what I do, do what I say. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, if it's that good conversation or that good advice, why didn't you follow it yourself? Yeah. You know, so yeah. I believe in like 
before you start to do anything mm -hmm. for other people just do it on try with mm -hmm. what you control which is yeah. yourself so oh, yeah. they if they see you doing good mm -hmm. and there's actually results you're getting better mm -hmm. you're feeling better you're more grateful you're more into like waking up every day and have like this amazing mm -hmm. amount of energy you got like your workout plan mm -hmm. you got your diet plan you you have so much free time after that mm -hmm. and way more energy to actually do it mm -hmm. then it's like huh maybe this is Allah yeah. should take a look to what yeah. he's saying. So if you get for your yeah. family, just having your own food, mm -hmm. having your own things, sticking to it mm -hmm. day in, day yeah. out. I know. You'll motivate them to, yeah. to try it. Or to Families would support. Yeah. Like, I'm sure, like, your, your wife and kids would be happy to see you doing something that is mm -hmm. better for you, be happy to see you doing something that is, like, sure. more active approach toward, like, feeling better, mm -hmm. getting healthier, staying there for mm -hmm. them for longer, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, r like, regardless of their awareness of they don't understand what's going on with the foods and amounts, but when you know that, and also mm -hmm. at the head of the house, so you're going to be able to guys why are we eating mm -hmm. this didn't you know what it contains mm -hmm. what it, you would be that person mm -hmm. so yeah. you become the teacher to the so that's the whole thing yeah. it's just not getting this idea to like oh, i'm better than anybody no i want to duplicate that person uh -huh. for and for as for many everybody. households oh, because yeah. if they had that knowledge for themselves yeah. they're gonna try to do for everybody they love yeah. you know the same thing yeah. you know okay okay so just more more for Everybody, just not yourself. Like you're, well, it, you, it, you do it for yourself. You figure it out, and you want to share it. You don't want to keep it to yourself. I mean, if if you know that, do you want your kids to have like uh, that amount of carcinogen in right. their body? Of course not. Yeah, you want them to be healthy and it's just a, yeah, yeah. It's just a fact. Yeah. You know? So it, if you can learn it yourself mm -hmm. and apply it to them, and, and then they apply it to other people. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And more people are aware of this way of eating, this way of yeah. life, this way of giving love, this way of mm -hmm. like. I'm not scarcity. Like, if I didn't get that and they get it, I was like, so what? Mm. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. Know, good for them. So it's just really, yeah, you really got to change your your mentality. And then, yeah, it's like yeah. everything else will kind of follow. Yeah. But okay, well. That's a beautiful that's part. That's something I need to work on. And yeah, I could, we can do a lot yeah, of Yeah, I could get, uh, get some feedback from, from Rio for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, well, we can do that. This yeah. The whole thing, we can start from scratch. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful because everything we, we we need to be grateful we have it already right now mm -hmm. and also like we have the most amazing uh capabilities to do what we want mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. you know and and like uh, uh, people would say like i had to do this or i have to do this mm -hmm. to get this it's like no man you, yeah. you have everything you need uh -huh. right now right yeah and yeah stop chasing everything yeah mm -hmm. okay and it's like uh, that took a while for me mm -hmm. to understand because I was more like, ah, oh, how could they say that? How could they yeah. disrespect like that? How could they talk like that? How, yeah. how, 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 how? Mm -hmm. Because you're in the past, right? Yeah. You're looking from the ego perspective. Yeah. And ego does not accept loss. Right. That's also another fact that mm -hmm. the ego would never accept loss. Yeah. yeah, it's insane. Okay. Yeah. So it's pretty much helping myself through helping other people mm -hmm. getting better mm -hmm. because that feeds into like, yes, I'm giving that knowledge, that love, that mm -hmm. attention. Mm -hmm. People are doing better, great and better. They're getting that knowledge. They're spreading it around to everybody they love mm -hmm. because that's just who they are. Okay. You know, at the beginning, they wouldn't say, just, ah, come on. Yeah. You know, starting with just like uh, Doritos, is, is it really bad? Or like, mm. But for you to understand what stuff is in what, mm -hmm. it would be easier for you to have your own like, parameter and guidance and what kind of food you eat without even a program mm -hmm. without even somebody to motivate you without mm -hmm. even it because you understood how it works All right it's so easy but, but but because it's so flooded with so false yeah, information yeah. or sugar companies paying yeah. uh, scientists to have this uh, mm -hmm. you know different results and stuff and like they say grains is healthier right. than meat right. so it's just like there's been a like a different amounts people are confused about health mm -hmm. which is weird right because they always change the rules and change mm -hmm. the facts. Yeah, they're like, oh, you're supposed to eat this much protein. Oh, no, you know, those eggs are bad for you. And then the next thing you know, eggs are good for you. Yeah. Yeah, so you got to really figure it out for yourself. And if it works, then that's, that's the main thing. Like, yeah. Yeah. Sustainable so, approach. Yeah, you can't do fat diets. Like, you got to just. I mean, I, I, we've been in the same position, mm -hmm. you know. We go through it so many times. That you do the fat diet, you gain back the weight. You mm -hmm. do the fat diet, you gain back the weight. It was like, dude, I'm sick of this. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Because yeah. there is no concept behind right. it. You know, you want to just lose weight. You're right. not looking at your body, at your mentality, mm -hmm. 
at like what makes you feel happier and better to perform every day and have yeah. better potential and better outcome. Yeah. There is no 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 one in talk about mm. this. It's like oh you can get this diet, you can have abs in mm. twelve months. Right. And then after that, most people either gain the weight or feel so depressed because they're taking low calories. It's like oh, mm -hmm. that really is not a diet though. Right. Yeah. You want something that you can live with, like yes, long term, and not just short term and mm -hmm. lose it like yeah gain it back or whatever so longevity yeah you know. yeah that's the main thing yeah so, okay that makes sense though yeah but, but what uh, yeah lots to learn lots to think about um so approach yeah. mm -hmm. different approach different beliefs yeah. you know paradigm shift it yeah. doesn't have to all happen at once right that's yeah. the other thing too yeah you try to do everything at once you just make no. yourself crazy like you got to no. do a little thing one at a time until you like mm -hmm. build up to it and mm -hmm. yeah because you try to change your whole life all at once Sustainable. yeah, yeah it's not i think it just it was like a good code is like people trying to uh add fitness to fix their life is like well it doesn't really work that way you cannot mm. just get a broken system and add like mm. something good and oh think yeah. it's gonna work right it has to be like completely revamped. You have to yeah. change the sleep pattern. You have to wake up early. Uh -huh. You have to do that work. You have to be in that mentality. You have to do. You mm -hmm. have so to reach that is not also mm -hmm. that simple because it has to be that motivated part of you doing something. Yeah. You're you're working out. You're you're intentionally looking for what kind of food to eat. Yeah. You're trying to practice meditation. You're trying to practice mm -hmm. different concepts and theories of mm -hmm. ways for people to express and show love. Mm -hmm. Also wanted to ask you, what is like when you're like completely in that uh, place where you're like thinking there is no hope or something, what is the things that pull you out the most, you know? Mm. I never get like that, like okay, so, that's good. so deeply, like dark place, anything like that. Or less motivated, I would say. Yeah, yeah. just less motivated. I think it's just, uh, uh, just being lazy. like. I have all the tools and I know like the, what needs to be done. I mm -hmm. just don't, don't do it. You know, it's, it's, it's easier to be the way that you've always been. Correct. You know, and Correct. so it's just, you have to change that whole mentality. Like just mostly what you're going to eat. Cause it, mm -hmm. you know, if you're just bored, you're going to eat something or if you're driving you're around, snack. you're going to go to the store and you're going to get something that's bad. And yes. yeah, it's like, you have to think about what you're putting in your body because it's it's easy to to not to just you know just get whatever and mm -hmm. any kind of garbage and eat it <laughs> and you, like you said you feel you feel happy for a minute or you get uh, yeah you get energy for a minute mm -hmm. but it's it's not it's not the right energy yeah. like not sustainable so yeah I think just having to think about what you're doing and why you're doing it like that's the hard thing mm -hmm. wow so. But you n maybe, like you said, have a plan, like have a meal plan and a workout Structure, plan. Yeah. If you have it written down, now you're going to do it. Like it's on the app now. Uh huh. You could yeah. just say, well, this thing says I got to go do this. And yeah. yeah. Yeah, it could be like your little boss. And like and also having this kind of connection with mm -hmm. your trainer, with the person with the better knowledge, mm -hmm. with the person trying to guide you. That's what I'm saying is just during this program, I'm doing like if you for the first six weeks, if you follow everything to mm -hmm. the point, there's going to be like... Uh, a, like a consultation every like one or two weeks you know to see where your head's Check at uh -huh. because yeah now because you can uh, it's like body mind and soul yeah so you can only you have to master the body mm -hmm. then we're going to be able to speak about the mind a little bit and then once we reach both then we're going to be able to talk about the mentality it's mm -hmm. like a process kind of mm -hmm. thing uh but also not understand because we know all the good information right and like not practicing is like we don't we can't find the reasoning yeah with like no man it just this is not how you feel better how you do better how like you're more of an uh healthy uh energy active approach towards mm. life you know mm. this hypes you up this just it's just not the optimal thing for you not yeah. and, and then you go throughout like the whole longevity the whole arthritis the whole pain mm. the whole metabolic disorders mm -hmm. that we're living with and it just it it, it it's insurmountable out of there so yeah. it just kind of yeah. Yeah, you have to really take it uh, one thing at a time because otherwise you just talk yourself out of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, oh, just forget it. I'll just stay the same. Like, 
you know. Yeah, the, the, the familiarity of comfort zone is so dangerous. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah you get very comfortable and you just leave it that way. So mm-hmm. That's yeah, what people, yeah, yeah stay in toxic uh-huh. situations. Yeah, yeah. you got to break out of it and do something different. To mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because as mm-hmm. if you're comfortable, if you're not tired, the body is meant to be used, mm-hmm. you know, so you're supposed to be tired. But in order for you to fulfill what you want to, you have to keep that optimal, right? right. So because the, the message in this realm or this life or... Uh, this thing is just be able to have the body as functional as possible mm-hmm. to do its like mission or mm-hmm. goal or idea or like helping or mm-hmm. initiating or making difference in the way of thought. But at the same time, if you don't have the body, then the mind going to be easily f- mm-hmm. falling back. And then the kind of awareness that that you're not only that body would be so difficult because mm-hmm. how that's how we identify ourselves, mm-hmm. you know, with the animal part, mm-hmm. which is weird. Yeah. So uh, yeah, no, it's, it's it all makes sense. It's just you got to get get going in, in the right direction. Like you got to, yeah. you just have to start somewhere. And like you said, it's it's it doesn't take that long to make a new habit. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, if yeah, just, it's three weeks or something. Yeah, yeah. So if you just start doing it and try to stay consistent, the consistency is the hardest thing I think for me. That's like it's key. easy to fall off. Like mm-hmm. obviously you see people like drugs or alcohol or something. Mm-hmm. It's very easy to fall back to the, where they were. You know to. Yeah. to change it and to keep it changed is the most difficult thing yeah. i think so yeah but but having either like an amp or a person to, to check on you and say hey do, are you all right are you you know you still yeah still eating right you're still working out or something like that then you have to you would you know they would catch you if you're trying to cheat or like you're trying and to i mean fall. it has to come from the point is like uh, w- so when someone try to say something bad or like mm-hmm. try to harm you or hurt you, I'm just going to start with their first. Uh, so the, the normal reaction is just to be like defensive is like, how the hell you can do that? Who are you talking to? Oh, right. Yeah. But if you just took the approach is like, are you doing good, bro? Because uh-huh. it can be this person like last, you know, screaming help, you know, mm-hmm. of course, if he emitting that negative energy, mm-hmm. that means he doesn't love himself. It means mm-hmm. maybe he's in distress. Mm-hmm. Maybe he doesn't know how to communicate. Right. The way they're so right. they just lash out. Yeah. 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 So like, microaggressions and stuff yeah. like that so for the person who's trying to do that is like no we gotta look at this differently mm-hmm. then so are yeah. you all right it yeah. like no it's like what's going on mm-hmm. what's keeping you mm-hmm. you know what's uh, one two three four mm-hmm. and we go through this one at a time and just trying to drill the information that yeah. this is really not who you are this is what you think you are yeah. uh, you know and uh, or like this concept of understanding that you are only that body you're only that being is just mm. completely false mm-hmm. because you're way more better and bigger and mm. and more powerful than this we're eternal beings and mm. i mean it just here for like this realm of earth understanding what's going on and just we, there has to be a way believe yeah. it or not we came here because we can learn a lot more through emotions guidance mm-hmm. so if you feel good you'll learn more Mm-hmm. But also, if you feel bad, you. Oh yeah. That's why the whole thing is like fear and negative and energy and stuff like that. It just pretty much control most yeah. people, and that's what mostly publicized because they don't want you to, mm-hmm. you know, the idea of you doing something on your own, loving yourself and loving the community around you. It just, I mean, less profitable to some people, mm-hmm. and that's the whole idea of awareness too. Mm-hmm. It's just like, where does this started? And the fr- fr- why oh, yeah. are you afraid? You yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot to think about, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot to do. Yeah. And a lot to do, for yeah. sure, man. Oh, but, but actually, I have to go. You have to go. Uh-huh. Very good but to see you, Ms. Yeah, chat. it's been a good chat. Uh-huh. And, and I, we'll I definitely think we catch up again. 100%. I've, yeah, I would 100%. Like to continue on. And yeah, and uh, we can see, like, what is the second interview after okay. some uh, good training and okay. guided. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's come guidance. back and report uh, what I learned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and okay. like, we can even see the difference in how you feel sure. and, like, the way you can mm-hmm. practice and stuff. Okay. Very nice seeing you, man. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Good. See you next Bye. one.